What does Jesus emphasize in prayer? What are the three requests that are made to God in prayer? Which four petitions are present in the Our Father? All these questions and more answered during today's episode of Daily Reflections. Prayer engages us in praise of God, in desiring God's will to be done and God's kingdom to come on earth. In prayer, we ask for what we need for the day and for the grace of forgiveness for self and others and to stay on the path of our love and convictions. This is a main part of Jesus' prayer. Daily prayer engages us in one or more of these as we grow in the likeness of the heart of Jesus. The gospel tells us that faults need to be corrected. Jesus criticizes the persons for whom prayer was a petition of magic formulae, of strong words addressed to God to oblige Him to respond to our needs. The acceptance of our prayer by God does not depend on the repetition of words, but on God's goodness, on God who is love and mercy. He wants our good and knows our needs even before we pray to Him. The first words, Our Father, Abba Father, is the name which Jesus uses to address himself to God. It reveals a new relationship with God which should characterize the life of the communities. To pray to the Father is to enter into intimacy with Him. It also means to be sensitive to the cry of all the brothers and sisters who cry for their daily bread. It means to seek in the first place the kingdom of God. The experience of God as our Father is the foundation of universal fraternity. Then we see the three requests for the cause of God. In the first part, we ask that our relationship with God may be re-established again. The name Yahweh means I am with you. In this name of God, He makes Himself known. The name of God is sanctified when it is used with faith and not with magic, when it is used according to its true objective, that is, not for oppression, but for the liberty of freedom of the people and for the construction of the kingdom. The coming of the kingdom is the fulfillment of all the hopes and promises. It is life in plentitude, the overcoming of frustration suffered with human kings and governments. This kingdom will come when the will of God will be fully accomplished. The will of God is expressed in His law. The observance of the law of God will be the source of order and well-being for human life. We then see the four petitions for the cause of the brothers. In the second part of the Our Father, we ask that the relationship among persons may be restored. The four requests show how necessary it is to transform or change the structures of the community and of society in order that all the sons and daughters of God may have the same dignity. In Exodus, the people received the manna in the desert every day. Divine providence passed through the sharing. Jesus invites us to live a new exodus, a new fraternal way of living together which will guarantee the daily bread for all. Every 50 years, the Jubilee year obliged people to forgive their debts. It was a new beginning. The gospel wants us to begin everything anew. Here are some points for a personal reflection. What does this prayer tell me about who God is? Which is my favorite phrase? Your will be done. Do I have a sense of being held in the hollow of God's hand? When I am in difficulty, how quickly can I involve God in my prayer? These points can be of great help to reflect on today's gospel. And if you like the reflection, do like and share the good news of the Lord. Do subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed, as it would mean a lot to us. Have a good day. Amen.